So, this is my second prototype for the tensile testing machine. It is more robust and it is more complex than my first. It is a bit more advanced uh, in the driving mechanism and it is more robust because I used larger parts. For example, previously I was using only a single lead screw which had uh, 8 millimeters diameter but these guys here have 12 millimeters diameter and uh, the lead is the same so 2 millimeters lead and then the two lead screws are connected to each other by a let's call it crosshead this crosshead is designed by me and uh, I printed it using PLA material and then uh, yeah, the lead screws are supported by these pillow bearings and then if we go to the drive part so this is a simple NEMA 17 stepper motor it has relatively low torque but then we have a 1 to 100 gear ratio planetary gear and then we have a timing pulley here which has 48 teeth and then we have another timing pulley here which has 40 uh, teeth and then this guy here and then this guy here they are just used as idlers so they keep the belt uh, under tension and then there is another idler here at this screw in, inside which is also straining the wall setup and then uh, this T-shaped part is also uh, a unique design to support the idlers and uh, it is made of PLA as well and then there is another support here this guy it is also made of uh, PLA also 3D printed and then uh, these aluminium profiles are just regular 20 by 20 millimeters uh, thick aluminium profiles. And then uh, what I have here, it's a very simple, some uh, Chinese copy of the Arduino Uno. Uh, it's connected to the computer by a simple USB cable. And then uh, I have this guy here to drive my stepper motor. It is a easy driver uh, circuit. I think this is also a Chinese copy. It's very cheap, simple and uh, very easy to use. So basically you have basically you have three cables connected to the Arduino. One is responsible for the direction, one is responsible for the uh, pulse and the third one is just a simple ground and then it is driven by 12 volts and whatever I don't know how much amperes but not too many so I just have this uh, switching power supply so the basic idea behind this machine is to have some sample here and then uh, this cross head will go towards the motor and then the sample will be fixed to a uh, load cell at the other end and the load cell will be fixed to a, a solid uh, piece so we can measure the force and uh, we will measure the elongation either on the sample or we can calculate it by the number of rounds uh, done by the stepper motor or the number of rounds done by the lead screw. So if I turn this on, it will be a bit loud but uh, you can see how it works. So I applied some very simple acceleration then reached higher speed 
and then now if you see then the cross head started to move in that direction so this will run for a time and then then now it uh, changed the rotation direction so it will move in the other direction to the right side of the screen So, this was it. Uh, so, what happened is I I did something in the Arduino code which applied some acceleration. So you don't, you cannot really start with full speed if you are using stepper motors. So you have to decrease the delay between the steps. Uh, gradually and then you can end up at uh, higher RPMs. I think this motor is capable of like 600 RPM but uh, I was not using the highest RPM but still I was using a bit higher value than I could uh, go with if I am uh, starting the motor just as it is. So we ramped up the motor that was this uh, hissing uh, high-pitched sound and then uh, the cross head moved towards the towards these things here and then it stopped and uh, it changed the direction and it moved away from uh, the gears and it moved towards the bearings so I hope that the next step will be something more serious i'm planning to replace these plastic parts with uh, aluminium or steel and uh, also i'm planning to change the the belts and the pulleys with actual gears so i have ordered some new parts uh, one is like uh, helical gears and the other is uh, a spore gear with a worm gear so I will test different ways to drive these two lead screws and actually the final version will have different type of lead screws so it will have um, something called twin or bi-directional lead screws so from the middle of the lead screw one thread will be left-handed and one thread uh, towards the other end of the lead screw will be right-handed. So if you fix two nuts, one on the right-handed and one on the left-handed end of the lead screw, they will go towards each other or they will um, separate from each other. And uh, this is good because then we get rid of the load, which which is uh, felt by the bearings. So if I use this setup now and I'm uh, having the, the sample here and I'm pulling the sample, then there will be, there will be a thrust uh, on the lead screws. So I have to use some special thrust bearing instead of this regular uh, radial, radial bearings. But uh, yeah, if I'm using that, Mm, twin lead screw then uh, everything will be easier and also I can have a shorter setup than this and uh, I will play around with the gears as well so I don't know when but uh, hopefully in the near future I will be able to post another update on my project but I'm really looking forward to it because uh, this will be a good thing to play with <laughs>